Kimberly. Meantime, we were telling you about this right here just a moment ago. We first told you about this story. When neighbors reached out to 10 Tampa Bay's Aaron Parsegian, concerned with the lack of progress and piling debris. Aaron. That frustration has been mounting for months, and the folks that live in this neighborhood are thankful for us shining a light on this mess, and now that they finally have a path forward for when it could get cleaned up. So you're going to miss having this debris field in your neighborhood? Not one bit. I will be so thrilled when it's gone and these people have their yard back. We're still a couple weeks away from when cleanup could begin near the Crosswinds Bridge, but for Baywood Village residents like Annetta Spiker, the county commission's decision is a welcome step in the right direction. And we have faith that the county can restore this community to its prior beauty. Passage unanimously. On Tuesday, Pinellas County Commissioners unanimously voted to nix contracts with Miami-based American Empire Builders, saying they've failed to complete multi-million dollar bridge replacement projects in Palm Harbor and Harbor Bluffs. The latter was supposed to be complete at the end of last year and according to the county is only 30% done and will need to go out for bid again. The county is disappointed at both the timing and the quality of the contractor's work. County leaders not commenting much more than that, signaling a potential legal battle on the horizon to recoup some of the money. I knew that they would, wouldn't be able to say much due to the legal legal aspects of the, of the situation. I think they were as forthcoming as they could be. We'll see where it goes from there. The county believes the Crosswinds Bridge is nearly done and could be completed by county staff. Neighbors say 10 Tampa Bay's coverage had impact in getting the ball rolling three years after the 18-month project began. There's been a lot of work by our residents. There's been a lot of work by you guys. And, you know, I've said it before where I, I thank 10 Tampa Bay for coming out and supporting us when we really felt like we were falling on deaf ears. All right, and Aaron, we understand these are not the only projects this contractor is under fire for. Yeah, we're looking into two other projects, both in St. Pete. In both cases, the city of St. Petersburg and FDOT are working with the surety companies to try and find a path forward for those projects that have also seen many delays. We'll stay on top of those as well. In Palm Harbor, Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay.